faster. New, new, absolute zero wave clear. There you go. Problem solved. There. Why am I not coaching an NALCS <laughs> team? <laughs> I hear that's about what it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Try and bait the all in right there. It's hard for both of these bot lane duos actually to do any sort of lasting damage to each other, but look at this, SK Telecom going for a dragon and there's no vision for Najin right now. So Najin probably has a bit of an idea. Yeah, they uh, found it with the Scrying Orb, but it's a bit too late and SKT able to take this first dragon. Yeah, nothing much they could do because the pressure has been there for SKT. And SKT has started it, so some pushing on the mid lane from Najin. Dragon getting lower, and there's a teleport coming from Naj, and they want to try to make a play here. Alt goes in a little bit early, though. Where's the follow-up? Faker not even needing to use that cleanse. Here comes Goong, though. Leaves the fight immediately. Wolf getting a nice pulverize onto Watch. Watch getting very low. Pure creating a nice big zone. Gets a kill. Gets first blood with that absolute zero, and Najin on the run now. Tom went down, but it looks like SK Telecom should be able to push him back. Yeah, they're definitely going to push him back, and I don't think Najin can actually defend this turret right now either. The wards, too, to see where Najin's coming from here. And Faker's just going to take apart this dragon so fast. Here we go, teleport coming in. Missed SKT all. disengaging for now. Rockets coming in as well. Wolf blown up a little bit. Flashes away. Marin not teleporting yet. Now he comes into the bot lane. Dragon getting low, and it looks like Najin will take it. SK Telecom wants some revenge. The Equalizer not actually slowing down too many people on Najin, so... Despite the strength for SK Telecom, Najin actually making it out of that one. I'm not sure that even this Blood Boil Vein is going to be able to do more than... Oh, Marin having to use that Equalizer, getting caught by OQ, flashing away. Duke's going to jump right on him. Marin getting OQ very, very low. OQ barely making it through that fight, but SK Telecom taking Baron in the meantime. Watch knows, but Wolf just shoves him away. Baron taken by SK Telecom. Yeah, so you Marin can't giving his life for that one. You can't commit. Or two or something. Dragon getting taken by SK Telecom right now. And Wolf on the side to kind of zone a little bit. SKT gets it. They're going to turn onto Najin. Not able to quite catch anybody, it looks like. Martin still has it. Equalizer, here we go. Coming in now. Can they catch him? Get the headbutt pull rise. Great equalizer as Najin tries to escape into the jungle. Duke going deep now, trying to escape and banging a lot of hits from the outside. Absolute Zero does a little bit of work, but Pure taken down as well. It's Najin's or uh, SKT's first kill of the game. And number two comes in as Faker takes down Duke. And SKT, whoa, Faker flashing over the wall. Wants that kill onto OQ Wolf coming in with the headbutt, the pulverize, the double kill for Faker. And SKT coming alive now at 30 minutes. Yep, Faker with another needlessly large rod on top of everything else now, so the damage is pretty immense. And look at this, they're gonna try to catch Wolf here. Wolf backing away with Faker. Bang is there as well too to fire those rockets into the choke. Faker has his ult up. This could be bad, Naja needs to be careful here. Faker turning around, waiting for an opportunity. There uses the ult, freezes quite a few, and Equalizer comes in as well. Faker unafraid of that absolute zero as Naja chase away again. There's the double kill. Will he get more? Marin picks one up. Man, Faker just waited and waited, and again. Just about wrapped this one up. Yeah, I would say so. I think it's going to be very difficult for Najin to fight this. Bang coming in, just decides to jump right onto Goong. Whoa, Wolf comes in with the headbutt pulverize. Wow, it knocked him out of the spirit rush no right kidding. there. Yeah. For Bang to finish, Bang just so strong, he's able to 1v1 the Ari right now. That is not a good sign for Najin. Not so much, and I think the all signs point to SK Telecom taking a pretty smooth game one here. They've got that Baron buff, they have minimal resistance from Najin coming in. Duke trying to defend as best he can, but SKT will see if they can push for the win right here. Those knockups say they probably can. Another nice equalizer for Marin gets OQ. There's the exhaust on him as well as he gets pushed back into his own base. A double kill for Bang at the end of all things. And there goes Nexus turret number two with Watch gone, with Pure gone, and OQ undefended. That is going to be game one going to SK Telecom. GG. What a stifling performance. And for a team that didn't have any kills until after 30 minutes, by 35 minutes, they had 11. Yeah. That's the amount of advantage that they got out of that laning phase that from is having Marin and Faker be so far ahead in terms of CS and controlling the early dragon. That is what you call lights out.